Welcome to economics. This is the preview for week two. So as we've discussed in the first weekly video, you can always expect those videos to be posted under the Sunday pages of the Beyond Classroom or BC platform. In these videos, we will discuss what you can expect for the week. We will give a few highlights and um, we will look over some of the assignments, tasks and things that are expected. So I just want to, before moving on to the lessons that we will be covering, I want to remind you, and I highlighted this in week one, that the textbooks are of utmost importance. So textbooks or the Salvas accounts, which, contains, which contain the eBooks, are very important uh, for your assessment because you can um, check the course outline on the main page of BC. And uh, in the course outline, you will see the assessment policy and you will realize that a major chunk of it, and you may already know this, is related to presentations, quizzes, homework, classwork, and so on. So Savas is a, a is, Savas is, is in the midst of that, like that is the vehicle in which all of that will be utilized. Not to mention, of course, the other resources that we, we, we will be using outside of the um, ebook, but um, just to highlight the uh, importance of textbooks again, I thought would be important in week two. So we will be integrating digital activities and student engagement in discussions, various tasks and presentations. In week one, we discussed scarcity. We discussed the and learned about the factors of production and how they affect our society. We learned a little bit about entrepreneurship and where that is going in the world and how, how it affects our daily lives. So this in, in the week two, we will be more focused on the trade-offs and the concept of opportunity cost. We will be clarifying these concepts and giving real life examples of them. So after that, we will be interpreting a production possibilities curve. I know as a preview, given that we did not discuss this topic yet, it may sound a little technical, but not to worry. It's a very simple and um, productive, actually, uh, learning lesson. You will find it to be easy and very helpful if you give it some of your attention. We will discuss terms like efficiency and underutilization. You want to, in economics, we want to define things under the economic type of encyclopedias. So efficiency in everyday life means one thing, but in certain industries, words like efficiency have some, um, a little different meaning. They may, they, there's a different context in which they lie in. And then it's important for us to magnify them and take a closer look at them. So under utilization too, and something known as the law of increasing cost. So of course in economics, um, the laws, when we say law, it is not like a rule of physics um, in which something is permanent and um, unchanging. So law is a just a, a type of description. Think of it as a repeated behavior that reoccurs throughout time. And it is so repetitive that it may seem like a law. Okay. And eventually we will be assigning tasks, tutorials, activities, and assignments. Those will be posted on the Savas platform and the, and the BC platform, and uh, you can submit them through there. So thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you in class to clarify anything that you might you might have picked up on that you want some more insight into for this, for this week. And you can always reach me through email, which is listed under the contact me option on BC. Thank you.